everybody. Um, welcome to a live Xavier music series. Um, we'd like to thank the people at Xavier University of Cincinnati for making this program possible for everybody. Uh, my name is Sullivan Fortner and I am a jazz pianist. I am 33 years old and definitely glad to welcome you guys into my living room. <laughs> we have a little bit of a tight situation here, kind of close quarters here, but that's all right. We're going to make it work. Um, glad to be here, glad to perform for you. Um, we're going to do some songs that are um, of a wide variety, hopefully. <laughs> I made like a little list of like some originals and um, a couple of standards and some other things. So, should be fun. Um, what should I start with? Let's start with, with, with um, Frederick Chopin's Minute Waltz. And it's kind of loosely based on an arrangement uh, done by the late, great James Booker, who's a great New Orleans pianist, uh, one of the geniuses of New Orleans piano. And uh, we're going to do it. Oh, actually, give me a second. I'm going to get some water. <laughs> Oh, no, no. Got some water. Uh, yeah. So we're just going to do it. This is uh, the middle waltz.
just to get the hands warmed up a little bit. All right. Now I'm gonna go into Scott Joplin tunes, probably one of the first jazz tunes I learned as a kid at New Orleans Center for Creative Arts. Uh, it's a tune entitled The Weeping Willow. Let's see if I remember, it's been a minute. <laughs>
that was Scott Joplin's Weeping Willow. All right, let's see. Cole Porter wrote a good song, wrote a few good songs, um, and I'll play it. I'll play it. One of my favorites. This is a love for sale.
Cool point is love for sale. Um, I also wanted to mention that at the end of this concert, there'll be a Q&A spot. Does anybody have any questions or comments or whatever you have? It's all welcome and appreciated. Uh, at this time, I'm going to switch it all the way and play an original composition of mine. Um, the tune is probably, it's probably one of the first, if not the first tune I ever wrote. Um, and I recorded it on my um, debut CD entitled Aria, and it's the title track. So I hope you guys enjoy Aria. Thank you.
You'd be so nice to come home to. You'd be so nice by the fire while the breeze on high sings a lullaby. You'd be all that I could desire. And the stars chilled by a winter under an August moon burning and bright. You'd be so nice. You'd be paradise to come home to. Since we're at the close of summer, I figured I'd play a tune entitled Summer.
rights over me. And that was by Mr. George Gershwin. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'm going to do a few more for you. Um, I'll do... What if I switched it up? Let's do the last time I saw Paris. Let me do, just do this dedication to Mr. Bud Powell. There's a solo version of this I heard recently, and it, you know, it's a genius of modern piano. Um, so we'll do this for him. <laughs>
again, thank you so very, very much for tuning in um, to this concert. I miss playing in front of an audience. This is probably my first streamed solo concert. Um, I need to be doing more of this. <laughs> um, but thank you guys for joining me in my living room. Um, again, we'd like to thank Xavier University of Cincinnati, the music series, for making this possible. And uh, again, thanks to every one of you for tuning in. I'll play one more piece. Um, I'm going to attempt it. This is the trolley song. Trolley song.
Thank you, thank you, thank you. Muchas gracias. Merci beaucoup. Thank you so very, very much. All right. Let's catch my breath. Have a little water. All right. Let's see. So now is the Q&A section. We ask questions. And hopefully it's cool. Um, let me see if I can find it. All right. Any questions at all? Let's cool down. How did you encounter James Booker? And where did you find his rendition of the Minute Waltz? Well, there's a recording. Um, it's like a Piano Master series, a compilation disc that I have where, excuse me, where he plays it. Um, and I kind of took that and just deranged it. Um, I'm from New Orleans, for those who don't know. And James was one of those pillars, you know what I mean, that everybody talked about, you know. Um, Professor Longhair, um, Dr. John, Alan Toussaint, pianists like that. Oh, you used to talk about how Booker was basically the cat, you know, the unsung guy. And um, even Harry Connick Jr. talks about him, and people like John Baptiste talk about him, who I went to school with. And, um, I mean, like somewhere around last year, I had to do a concert in Paris. And um, I decided to just go through his catalog and I found a few things that I had arranged that belonged to him. But this tune in particular, the way he played this was really, really just like that. He really brought it down to like a dirge and then he kind of like just messed with the tempo and kind of did all kinds of weird things with the harmony. And I thought... Now well, maybe I'll give it a try, you know, see what happens. Yeah. Um. Any more questions? Um. Any more questions? Can we make requests? Uh, sure, why not? Um, let's see. What do you guys have? Oh, there's no questions. Not really. Well, I have a request for around midnight. Okay, what are you, what are your what is your favorite what are your favorite musicals? Um, oof, Sound of Music, probably. Um, um, ooh, it's, it's hard for me to think about it now. It's kind of hard. Uh, Star is Born, Judy Garland. That's one of my favorites. Um, um, West Side Story. Um, that's some of my three. I don't know about my top three. You know, I really, I really love a lot of musicals. It's like one of my things. Um, top three TV shows. Uh, I Love Lucy. Saved by the Bell. No, 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 no. Kyle, uh, let's see. I Love Lucy. Family Matters. And... Uh, 
I've been really in the Game of Thrones, man. That's kind of like inching up to the top, you know. That's kind of inching up there. Uh, I really like the Cosby Show too. Uh, God help, Bill. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you ever considered producing a jazz album for children? Yeah, I, I really have. I mean, you know, that's one of the things I want to do later on in the future. Um, who are some piano players that most people don't know that they should check out? Um, Clarence Prophet. Um, um, Lee Sims. Chris Anderson. Um, um, if you haven't checked out if you really haven't really looked up, um, no, I'm spacing, I'm spacing, I'm spacing on a, there are a lot of really unsung gems that people don't really talk about. Uh, Mal Waldron, people don't really talk about Mal. Uh, Sun Ra, Duke Ellington, uh, people don't talk about Duke at all, and he was the greatest. Um, Mary Lou Williams, she doesn't get enough of her due. She doesn't get enough due, in my opinion. Um, um, Lil Hard and Armstrong. If you haven't listened to that, listen to that. That's, that'll, that'll mess you up. Um, you ever considered a gospel jazz album? Not really. Not really. Thought about it. Um... Maybe we'll see. Maybe I'll just do a, a, a an album of hymns. You know, I really like to play hymns. Um, shout out to Great King Solomon Baptist Church in New Orleans and Concord Baptist Church in Brooklyn. And shout out to Mount Zion Baptist Church of Oakland, of, of uh, Oberlin, Ohio. Really got my church groom in there. <laughs> uh. Somebody asked for, my dad asked for Willy Wonka. <laughs> uh, can't find a better version of instrumental as well. Wow, thank you. Um, uh, okay. Um, there have been a couple requests to sing, so I'll, I'll do... I'll play, I'll, I'll sing something. What can I sing? Forever 
far and near. Word you never heard before, and on that clear day, on that clear day, you can see forever. Thank you all so much for tuning in. 
Hope to see you soon. Y'all stay safe and y'all stay healthy. God bless y'all. Good night.